You have arrived at the KOE Nation. Welcome, one and all, to the KOE Nation for a very interesting spirits review. I am your King of Extreme, Phil KOE, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man that makes the other podcast cower, and we're here to review Old Forester's Bucky's Edition. And I am joined by my in Indomitable brought Wait, is that not what this is? No? Well, I'm joined by my indomitable broadcast partner, the one, the only... The 15-time Revolutionary Wrestling Podcast champion, quadruple still, non-chill filtered, your blend master of ceremonies himself, Tony fucking Gene. You can find me at all my social and podcast platforms at linktree slash Tony the Rod. Uh, Bucky's iteration. Not so much about that, but uh, Old Forester. Okay. King, oh, King Ranch. Ranch. King, King Ranch. Ranch. Okay. Because, you know, like, this is all Texas. It's got Texas right on the top of the bottle there and everything. So this is like, uh, uh, what? Aw. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's all Texas. So, yeah, it's Bucky's edition. I'm sorry. You know? I'll be honest. Like A fraction of me wants to drink it less now just because of the... King Ranch is like a Texas thing. I, I, right, I, but... Uh, but, so that's why I said it's Bucky's edition. But all right, here we go. Right. Cork pops are bigger in Texas. I was wondering which one of us was going to make that awful joke. It's mandatory, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. That's okay, so the gimmick here. I'm going to let you read what the gimmick is because it just right. divulges it on the front and the back of the bottle. So we have got, this is a newer release. Did this come out? It's been probably, what, two years? Uh, yeah, it's not Maybe a very three? it's not a very long thing, but it's been exclusive in Texas. Because so uh, later than 2020, I, I believe it came out yeah. after the COVID pandemic, if you will. This is the old Forester Kentucky straight bourbon. Ooh. Repeat, bourbon whiskey. Uh, King Ranch, a proprietary batch using a heavily... Charred barrels filtered through King Ranch Mesquite charcoal. And yet it says straight bourbon with house. Well, grain. it's not sugar maple charcoal in Tennessee, Tony. So that makes it not bourbon. Maple. Which is completely and utterly irrelevant. This is 52.5 ABV at 105.0 <laughs> proof. So let's go to the back. Old Forester King Ranch Edition. Old Forester King Ranch Edition celebrates the union of two iconic American brands with over 300 years of combined history. Each is woven into the nation's fabric. Old Forester, comma, the first bottled bourbon, comma, and King Ranch, comma, the birthplace of American ranching trademark. <laughs> this expression is an homage to the values that bring them together, including hard work, ingenuity, and a lasting legacy. The Silton Bottle by Old Forester Distilling Company, Louisville, Kentucky. So, government warning. We, 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 we don't no, need to get too deep, T. All right, all right. King Ranch and Running W Design are trademarks no, of King no, Ranch no, IP. No, I actually do have to say this LLC used under license. And that's because there's a cow under a tree. Yeah, so I actually probably didn't need to say that. Yeah, um, actually. But so we got King Ranch. Like I said, I'm not really that far off in calling it Bucky's Edition. Fine. I, I, I do think that 375s of this should be sold exclusively at Bucky's. <laughs> Bucky store pick, Jesus. All right, so the, the gimmick here is that you've got a much sweeter alleged filtration we process. We would review a Bucky store pick, like, immediately. My big question here, what mash bill, what bottling are we using to create this? We're not using the Whiskey Row series, I highly doubt. I'm guessing we're using the 100 proof? Probably. The the standard metal top, 100 proof, now Old Forester. Now, the nose is reminiscent of Old Forester 1910. Don't get my hopes up. And yet you're not wrong. Like I said, it's not the same, but it's reminiscent. It is, but there's a pugnant... Hmm. 
Okay, I'm getting the toasted marshmallow notes. Yet. You can tell the Texas maple has a little bit of a funk to it. There, yeah, it's it's not offensive. It's not really? bad at all. That's not don't don't get me wrong. It's uh it's just different than it's different than I expected, and it's different than I anticipated after reading that as well. So I hmm. Well T there there is just something that's lingering there and I can yeah, I'm not really getting marshmallow. I'm I am getting the toasted though. It's, well, like it, it's like it'd be a burned cotton candy. Wow. That's good, but yeah. Hmm. That feels like original batch 1870 that they put through this charcoal filtration. What's the proof on it? 105. Actually, just had to go back and check it myself because yes, this is. It don't drink like no hundred and five. No, it doesn't. But this uh, it's like a ninety three. This is stronger than three of the whiskey row series right there. Um, hang on, I got to go back in. Hmm. Okay. I'm I'm getting adjacent memories of the 1910, but it's different. This is like campfire. Yeah, um, it's not like s'more. This is no, like it's you're, and it's not even smoky. you got done eating your baked beans and you're sitting around the campfire with your horse. It's not even smoky to me though. I, I, I'm like somebody's playing a harmonica. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Oh, I, all right. Let's get to the grading. I'm still, I'm deciding. For those who don't know, we grade on a five star scale. Five meaning you have to have it before you shuffle off this mortal coil. Zero meaning pass it on by. The Kiwi Nation has advised you well. We're going to grade this as a bourbon, as a whiskey. As a cask-aged spirit, it's shelving. And for those new to the show, secret fifth question. So, Tony, as a bourbon, how would you grade this, sir? Uh, hmm. Can I rip the band-aid? Yeah, I yeah. wish you would. It's good whiskey. It is fine whiskey. It's just not what you would expect from a bourbon. No. So that's why I'm going to give it three stars. Thank you. Yes, this is a three-star bourbon. Um, and it's... I don't even think it's the filtration process, Phil. I'll be honest. I think it's quality. Hmm. Oh, oh, okay. So you think why they did this is there was a batch of some whiskey that had some weird funk. You're like, let's put it through the mesquite, call it King Ranch... And see if we can't charge 80 bucks a bottle. Yeah, that's where my head's at. Okay. This isn't because they... I'm not saying that's what my thoughts are. I'm saying that's what his thoughts are. Mm, but he just had a light bulb moment as well. I... Uh... <laughs> well, no, I, I think there... I don't think it's necessarily fixing. I think it's like, okay, this whiskey's okay, but it needs something to push it over the top. And you might think it's being gimmicky. I think this is actually pretty good stuff, but it is good as a whiskey. I'm going to go three and a half. Here's the problem. I've also had the entire whiskey row series tonight, plus a couple of blends and a couple of store picks before that. And usually uh, the deeper into the night you get, the more loose and fast you get with the ratings. And you're not, it, I'm not fast. doing that dog. I'm just not doing that. Okay. I'm, what, I'm, what do you give this as a whiskey? Would you give it? I gave it three and a half because I think this is very approachable. I think this is easily drinkable for as high a proof it is and mix this with a root beer and you'd be having a good night. R root beer, the band-aid of all cocktails. Great choice. Um, Boy, <laughs> you're just like, no, be in front. No, give your honest review. I, okay? I am. I, I don't I hate this. To be honest, you're not as impressed. Now, granted, 
We just got done drinking 1920. I'm 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 not I'm probably being way too picky here, but as a whiskey, it's it's it is it's a little gimmicked. It's a little gimmicked, and yeah, I feel it's more fixing something than it is enhancing something. So I'm gonna go three. I got a feeling you're gonna have the same opinion about Wild Turkey Long Bridge. That's why I've avoided it because I love Wild Turkey so much. I got the feeling that when you try that, you're like, okay, this is a batch in Wild Turkey that they need to fix something. And so they got Matthew McConaughey yeah. to come in and save the day. Okay. That's why I've never bought or tasted a bottle. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I, okay. Now, as a cask aged spirit, <laughs> I'm going to let you go ahead, T. Um, I'm not going to even color your review with my rating. I like the Whiskey Row. There's no age statement here. It's just extra proof. And I don't know if that's hurting or helping here. I don't I don't think it's either. It's just... We don't know. It's, it's not in the casking. It's in the extra filtration, filtration which is really not... I just adding a little bit of zest here when there was nothing there to begin with, I think, because yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure this was probably just an original standard, hundred proof, regular screw top bottle of old Forester, which I do like a lot. You just take that, you change the, the finished product a little bit. I think this is what you get. So Well, they knew something was wrong before they got it to hundred proof because it's 107 proof. So they knew something like if, fine, your, theory, fine. if your theory holds true. I'll go three stars. Because I don't hate it. Again, I'm I'm being very picky. This is a hard to obtain bottle, is, is it not? In anywhere but Texas, yes. So there you go. I, this is good, but the Whiskey Rose series all the whole series we'll, is we'll, better. We'll get to that here a little later. The whole Whiskey Rose go, series is better. As cask better. age, I'm gonna also agree with three stars. There you okay? go. Now, Shelvin. Um, so self be true, T. Sure, you could consider this a unicornish bottle. Is the is the cow in the tree that pretty? It's a middle. Yeah, it's middle to bottom shelf, honestly. Hi. Now, the secret fifth question here. I bought this on the secondary market, T. I paid over a hundred dollars for this bottle. Mm. Will I seek another one mm -hmm. over anything else on the Whiskey Row series? No, no. no. Now this is excellent stuff, it but is good. It I is would good. buy a bottle of 1910 over this any day. I would buy a bottle of 1897 over this any day. Oh uh, well, okay, that's not fair. 1897 is amazing. I, I would buy it. I would probably buy a twenty dollar bottle of Orange Label Screw Top well, Forester over this. Well, for the price, yes. Well, yeah, it's a, that's yeah. a twenty dollar bottle, but I'm talking about quality, and I'm not going to go that harsh. I'm not going to go that harsh, but I understand where your criticism is coming from. I'm, I'm, I'm not disappointed. It's just I knew kind of going in that this was not going to be like one of those. Oh, we had a genius moment. This is what we've got to do. It was a. Hmm. How do we not lose all this? Let's make better by different labeling. So, Tony, you're literally doing the parent of teenager thing where, old Forrester, you're not mad, you're disappointed. Well, I did just say the entire Whiskey Row series is better, and I'd buy the orange label $20 bottle before this, so yeah. Wow. Um, I wouldn't go that far, but I'm not gonna like. I'm, I'm not sorry. gonna like fall over myself to get another bottle. No, of this. this is very much not. No, no this no, ain't I, it. This ain't it, dog. This ain't it, dog. Well, Tony, let me just pour you a night another giant dram of it. Oh, okay. Sorry, well, I seem to have lost my glass. <laughs> As I don't say. <laughs> oh, that being said. Thank you for joining us for this review of Old Forester King Ranch Bucky's Edition, folks. I don't think that's true at all. I think Bucky's would be like, no, we're sending you a cease and Yeah, sense. let's not Stop do that. that. Yeah, Tony's like, don't stain the good name of Bucky's. Yeah. Folks, 
God bless every last one of you. I hope all of you make it back here to the KOE Nation. Happy, healthy, much the wiser. Raise a glass to yourselves. God bless. Tony G, take it away. Thanks for joining us on this uh, slightly disappointed review of the Old Forester King Ranch. I'm Tony fucking G, and this is Phil K-O-R, the King of Ranch. We'll catch you on the next one. The King of Ranch. <laughs>